On the floor of New York Comic Con, stopping by one of our sponsors, Loot Crate, and once again talking to Marissa like we did last year. This is becoming a traditional thing. I mean, you know, I'm not mad about it. No. I'm not, I, I like talking to you. You're cool. I like following your Instagram. You're always doing fun stuff in the Loot Crate warehouse. <laughs> That's true, and it's even bigger and better now. It's, we have a huge warehouse, and a ton of people in there packing all the time with all the stuff we've got coming out. It's, it's awesome and crazy and great. Before we get into the New York stuff here, let me just talk to you about the warehouse, because you've... Uh, your account, the Loot Crate account on Instagram, have been posting a lot of photos throughout the last year of the expansion. Uh, you guys got more and more space. There's forklifts, there's pallets involved, there's all this stuff. How big is the warehouse now for Loot Crate? Oh my gosh, it's like 20,000 square feet. Something that's like a huge warehouse. I, mean, I could even be wrong on that. I don't know, but it's it's really big. Um, we have a whole operations team down there, uh, an entire force of packers that come in every month, and actually are there even increasingly now because we have so many new, uh, interesting one-offs and subscriptions that we're trying to come up with. Right. So it's it's really exciting. It's a really exciting time. Now. Uh can you tell us where the warehouse is and do you guys give tours like other factory tours? We have given, we have, well, we definitely give all of our new employees tours because they have to know what it looks like. Um, <laughs> and we have given other people tours. It's uh, so far, it's generally been people that we are, that we know that are kind of in the geek space that are like, oh, you guys are cool. I want to see a warehouse. We haven't, uh, we haven't done like customer tours yet, but we've thought about it. <laughs> so it's not like where the public can come down to a brewery and take the tour of how they make the beer or like uh, the Utz factory where you can see how the chips are made, things like that. Not yet, but I I think we we should do that because our our director of operations wears like a top hat and walks around with a cane and like points at everything and everyone deserves to experience that like uh, penny bags from monopoly yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> i can imagine the loot crate tour could be uh you a simpsons fan um kind of <laughs> okay. do you remember when they went on a field trip to tour the box factory oh yes <laughs> where they had to follow the line and not touch anything <laughs> don't oh touch God. all the prizes Everyone will touch everything and it will be a terrible mess. <laughs> this is the first and last tour. This factory is closed. I know, we're going to do it one time and then it's going to be a meltdown. And then I'll be like, oh, I, did, I had nothing to do with this. I, please don't fire me. <laughs> uh, Loot Crate's been doing very well. has been advertising on our show, on the Opie and Jim Norton show, on our channel, uh, and that's Sirius XM. Uh, we're glad to have that partnership. And you've had some great stuff in the past uh, few months where you had um, uh, another, one, another edition of Villains. You had uh, the... Um, I'm forgetting all of them. I do all the live reads too, and I'm forgetting the different themes. That's okay. I can I can help you out. Okay, please. Okay, so we did uh, in July and August. We did Heroes Two and Villains Two as a follow up to the Heroes and Villains that we did last year because they were so popular. Um, so we did that in in September. We did Summon. Uh, so we had some Pokemon and Hearthstone going on. This month is October, and we're doing Time. Okay. So everyone's super stoked about that one. Doctor Who. Yep, definitely Doctor Who. We've got Back to the Future going, and we also have Bill and Ted. We have some Bill and Ted in there too, so I think people are really excited. We've got we've got some really good stuff in there. One of the previous boxes that uh, I was really excited about is you did uh, a spy theme, where a lot of James Bond style stuff. They had the shirt in there. You had uh, Agents of Shield. That was really cool with the watch and everything. Yep, that was our covert theme, and it was in March. We also had a uh, a comic book. We did an Orphan Black comic uh, with an exclusive cover, so that was a really good one. Little spoiler for listeners of our show: the Orphan Black comic book that came from Loot Crate. Uh, at San Diego Comic Con, we got signed by the cast, so we'll be giving that away in a later date when Orphan Black Season 4 comes around. That is really awesome. I'll take a photo and send it to you. Please do. All right. <laughs> uh, tell us now, uh, if you're not here at San Diego, uh, wow, if you're not here at New York Comic Con, uh, you're missing out on this exclusive box here, and the theme is creepy. What do we know about this box? Okay, so we've got a we've got a pretty large exclusive uh, to New York Comic Con this year. It is it is a creepy themed crate. Uh, we're, we're selling it for $55, uh, which is definitely more expensive than last year, but also has like way cooler stuff in it, I think, in my opinion. Definitely higher value items. Um, a couple of things that we have in there are a, uh, an exclusive uh, Crimson Peak Funko Pop figure that we have and nobody, you know, exclusive to us. So we've also got a, a Resident Evil Umbrella Corporation umbrella, which might be my absolute favorite thing in there because it's actually, it's a real umbrella. Like, That's awesome. Very functional. And it poured on us two days ago, so that would have been really useful. But, you know. <laughs> Should we open the boxes? No, we'll get in trouble. Yeah, I was like, can we just pull the umbrellas out? Like, will we get, will somebody get mad at us? I don't, I, I was, it was very wet outside. So, I mean, it would have been great, but that's okay. I hope I hope some looters used it. <laughs> and that's everything in that box? Um, the, the the other things we have in there uh, are... Well, of course, the, uh, the, the, uh, the traditional pin that you put in every yep, box. Yep, we definitely have a pin in there. We have a, uh, a Chucky figure. Uh, we have a glow-in-the-dark glow little gnome figure. It's like a really creepy-looking gnome. Um, 
And we have some like art print cards in there as well. So, and that, that's all I can remember off the top of my head. Oh, and there's a fright in a can. There's, it makes different noises, like the psycho scream and things like that. So I, I feel like people are probably just walking around. Just I think, I think Marvel was using it on, on their stream for a while. So I don't know how that went, but it was probably great. Now let me ask you this, if this thing's making noises, as you're shipping it here and trying to set up uh, the Loot Crate display here on the floor of Comic-Con, uh, were they all making noises as you're moving everything around? Um, honestly, some of them were. And we, as we were unpacking for the first day, the day before the first day, um, I would just hit the side of the, the pallet and just hear all the little screams going on, and it was actually very amusing. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> So this is the New York Con exclusive. Uh, you should definitely, if you have time, go down and get it. It's creepy from Loot Crate. What do we have to look forward to uh, as the year ends, going into the holidays? Okay, so one of the things that we're, we're letting people know about here is that we are looking to launch a, an anime subscription uh, probably by the end of the year, definitely by the end of the year. Um, it's going to be a completely separate subscription. It's going to still be a Loot Crate, but you don't have to, it's, it's on its own. You don't have to sign up for the Core Crate, you don't have to, whatever. Um, and it's all going to be just focused on anime, so we're definitely going to be launching that really soon. So I know a lot of anime fans have been asking us for that for a very long time, and so they're 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 really excited. <laughs> Do you have any tie-ins to a big movie that seems to be opening around Christmas time? Oh, um, are we talking about are we talking about Star Wars? Is that you could be? I don't know. I I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, we've definitely. December is going to have some Star Wars stuff, I can tell you that right now. Okay. Well, there's something to look forward to. Uh, anime fans, definitely Star Wars fans. So it's a b big way to go out for, the, uh, for this year for Loot Crate. Absolutely. We're, we're, we have such a, an exciting Q4, and we're working really, really hard. So I look forward to seeing everything play out. It's going to be great. Now, one last question. Is there, now we, we've explored to the end of the year. Is there anything that in the horizon for 2016 that you can know it about? Anything on the horizon for 2016? Well, I know some of our themes that are going to come out, but I can't really talk about those because, you know, we're we're like super private eye right. or private. I don't know. Well, there, yeah, there seems to be, since last year, a million um, mystery box companies that are starting up now, just like Loot Crate, uh, obviously NerdBlock and stuff, but smaller ones where you look at that and you go, I don't think it's legal for you to do what you're doing. Going to Walmart and buying DVDs and then throwing it into a box, <laughs> I don't think is the right way to do this. <laughs> yeah, we've definitely seen a lot of, I mean, I'm not naming any names, but I, we've definitely seen a lot of uh, competitors cut, pop up in the industry. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I, I know what you're talking about. Um, I can say that we see all, and we, we do have a lot of subscriptions that we're trying to get. We, we have a lot of ideas that we're trying to launch, so I will say that the, the anime subscription will not be our only product to launch in the next few months. Right. Yeah. How long until we see Recreate when somebody just buys your stuff and then puts it in their own box and then starts selling the subscription for that to undercut what you guys are doing? Right? Like, is it like exactly the same as Loot Crate? Like, it's still. It's just Crate. now it's a pink box. They just re they just rebrand it. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Recreate. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How, why haven't I started that? No, even better, it's just a little bit bigger than the box you provide, and they just put the box in there. They don't even open it. They just sell your box. It's just like a cardboard box, and they spray paint it pink. Oh, my gosh. Bad tape and a Sharpie. I think we're starting a company in, like, the next five minutes. <laughs> there we go. We're going to branch out on our own. Marissa, thank you so much. Give out the social media for Loot Crate so everyone can follow along. Okay, so definitely follow us. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's always at Loot Crate, L-O-O-T-C-R-A-T-E, and you can hashtag Loot Crate, too. What about yours? Oh, mine is, um, I'm Twitter. On Twitter, I'm Marissa Magic. It's M-A-R-I-S-S-A, -S -S Magic. She's a very lovely woman. She works for an amazing company. You should follow everything here. And I'm going to throw in a, just a quick version of our live read. If you want to subscribe to Loot Crate, go to LootCrate.com slash Opie and save $3 off your next Loot Crate, actually off your first Loot Crate subscription. Do it. Do it now. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was great.